Good morning. Good morning. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I hope you all had an awesome day yesterday. Welcome to another holiday. I mean, uh, you know, holiday. Sunday should be a holiday. <laughs> should be. Some of us working, and some of us got to go to work. Some of us go to school, and the rest of y'all are going to watch the last season of the NFL, regular season of football games. Some of y'all have been disappointed this year. <laughs> some of y'all are on your way to the playoff to play another season. Glory to God. <laughs> Bears came. They could have come really close. But another season disappointed. Another season disappointed. Um, God has been good to us, though, even in the midst of disappointments. <laughs> okay, I'm just, uh, just having some fun. Y'all don't take things too serious, man. Take things too serious. Um, we are on the outskirts of 2018. Glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, today, we're going to uh, go dive into a whole lot of new material. A whole lot of new material. Uh, there are some things that has been pressing into my heart uh, all this year. And the Spirit of God woke me up this morning. And I want you all to turn your Bible to the book of Romans chapter 8 before we go into prayer. <clears throat> Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. <clears throat> Let's get there. Let's get there. And, I'm, and it will do you some justice, as I always tell everybody, do you some justice to go back and read the rest of the verses. <laughs> go read the whole chapter. But we are going to be somewhat coming in on the middle of a thought. But the, but the whole point is, uh, you, you, you'll, you'll get it. You'll get it. Verse 30, start at verse 30. Start at verse 30. <clears throat> it says, y'all there? Everybody there? Here we go. Chapter 8, verse 30. Moreover, whom he have predestinated them, he also called, he also called, and whom he called them, he also justified, and whom he justified them, he has also what? Glorified. Glorified. So everybody repeat it to me, say, I've been, uh, God predestinated me. God predestinated me. He called me. He called me. He uh, justified, me, justified me, and he glorified me. He glorified Those are the three areas, those four areas that you can see. He predestinated me. If you are born again, you are predestinated. That's good, man. Don't get caught up in this predestination and start thinking, well, if God predestinated me to be in the body, and he also predestinated some people to go to hell. That is not the case. That is not the case. If you've ever heard that kind of miserroneous teaching, <laughs> notice I said miserroneous, <laughs> uh, that's wrong, 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 because it violates way too many other scriptures. There's way too many other scriptures that says whosoever. There's way too many other scriptures where it says that God does not wish that no, no man should perish, but that all should come to the knowledge of Christ. So, but if you get pre, if you get once you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord, that was God's full intent for everybody to be saved. Now, bigger part is everybody ain't saved. And large large partly the reason why a whole lot of folk ain't born again your fault my fault 
I know I saw, I saw, I saw some faints do that. Like, yeah, your fault. My fault. You want to know why? Because we don't tell them about Jesus. And you tell people about Jesus based on two things. Your words and your actions. If you out there cussing, run along with them, you tell them, well, holy lifestyle ain't part of my life. If you out there being deceptive, being de that word deceptive means deceive, means to trick, means to lie, whichever case you may want to go around. You basically telling them, honesty is not a part of your life. Why should I want to follow this Jesus Christ, Jesus for? And then, your mouth. Your mouth. You need to be telling people about the Lord Jesus. But I venture to say, some of y'all, almost not some of y'all in here, maybe some of y'all in here, maybe some of y'all out there. People don't even know you're born again. You don't tell them. You don't say nothing. When, when certain when situations come up, and y'all have been around people, and all of a sudden, we're going to get to the next verse in a second. Y'all have been around people, and all of a sudden, the conversation comes up. Well, from their perspective, the conversation about religion comes up, and all of a sudden, they start portraying this and start portraying, saying, well, I believe this, and I believe people should do this. And you, How many times have you ever said, well, I'm a born-again believer. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead for my sins, and he is my Lord. He tells me what to do, and I do it. How many of y'all ever do that? Very few hands just rose up in this room. And I'm sure the same way very few hands rose up out there with you all. I tell people, I boldly say, Jesus Christ is my Lord. If you jumping in the same bed that they jumping in, you basically tell them, Jesus ain't your Lord. So it's your fault. It's a whole lot of folk ain't born again. And it's my fault too because I need to be telling more people. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm, I'm going to leave y'all alone. This is going 2018. Notice what he said. He said, he predestinated them. He also called them. He also justified them. And then he did what? Glorified them. That's you right now. You have been predestinated. God has called you. God has did what? Justified you. And then he did what? Glorified you. Verse 31. What shall we say then? What shall we say then? Say to these things. Notice he said these things. The four things that we just talked about. He said, what shall we say about these four things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Have y'all ever heard that verse? Mm -hmm. Notice how it's all been broken up. Yeah. You've, you've heard that, you just heard the bottom half of that verse. The bottom half of that verse, and it can, in some cases, stand alone, but in 99.3% of the cases, it cannot. You have to go back and add those, those uh, other verse to it to give you an idea about your identity. Some of y'all still ain't figured out who you are. We've been teaching on this talk, talking about this stuff for two years now, and you still ain't know who you is. Look what he said. If God be for us, what should we say about these four things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Watch this. Here you go. He, oh my, I love this, this verse woke me up this morning. Woke me up. I was up about an hour and a half this morning with this verse. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also what? Freely, Freely give us all things. Notice how he said, freely give it to you. <laughs> yeah, 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 y'all like, mm, yeah, mm. Some of y'all y'all reading it. I'm over here getting it. I'm so excited. I'm drunk. Let me tell you. Watch, 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 watch it, watch it, watch this. 
It's yours, people. It's yours. <sighs> it's yours. It's yours. So, uh, and, and, and it kind of like jumped off the pages at me. Uh, uh, and if, if you want to know what the theme this year, this upcoming 2018, <laughs> it's going to sound kind of corny, but I, uh, and God, God gave it. I just believe the Spirit of God gave it. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Receive in 18. Receive in 18. Some of y'all need to catch that. Receive in 18. <laughs> Think about it. All this past year in 2017, what do we teach on? What do we teach on? What was the very first thing? Believing for the manifestation. I mean, uh, receiving the manifestation. Of what we've been believing for, and then we went into we went into our identity. We talked about who we are, what we're capable of. Think about it. Then we start talking about all these spiritual gifts. It's time for us to receive it now. It's time for us to receive it now. Y'all sit up and listen to y'all, y'all. Glory to God, man! It's time to receive it. It's time to receive it. It's time to receive what you've been believing for. It's time to receive it. I'm, it, it sounds like I'm being repetitive, and in some cases I am, but if you don't receive what you've been believing for, uh, then all we did was do a bunch of talking for a whole year. Am I correct? That's all we did was talk. Talk, 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 talk. And no Christians are notoriously for talking. Talk. Go to church. Listen to some talk. Go to church. Hear a preacher talk. Preacher talking. Oh, he did some good talking today. He talk, 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 talk. Some of that stuff, I don't even know what he was talking about. But he was just talking, 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 talking. And now, guess what? After we don't receive what we get, now we got some more talk to explain why we didn't get what we believe of. Got some more talk. Talk, 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 talk. Ain't y'all just tired of hearing a bunch yeah. of talk? Ain't y'all ready to see some manifestation? I am. I am. And I'm not just saying this just to be saying it. I'm ready to receive it. Lord, Father, God, you said. I didn't come up with the little pretty words over there in Second Peter. You did. <laughs> you the one said that you have already given me all things that pertain to life and godliness. I didn't come up with that. You the one said that you were. Then we just read, read it again. 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 Verse thirty-two. He that not he that oh goodness, where put these glasses on. He that spared not his own son. Question. Did God send Jesus? How many of y'all saw Jesus down on the cross? Uh-huh. Nobody. But yet you believe it. How many of y'all saw Jesus down on the cross? Think about it. Nobody. How many of you all actually believe that he shed his blood? How many of y'all believe that his shedding of his blood, it was for the remission of our sins? Look what else, he, look what else Paul, the writer of the book of Romans, by the Spirit of God is revealing to us. He said, look what he said. <laughs> his own son was not spared. Come on, this is Romans 10 out of 10 right here in the flesh. He didn't spare his own son, and since he didn't spare his own son, how shall he not? How shall he not? 
with him. With who's the him? Jesus. Also freely give us all things. Jesus finished the work. When he died on the cross, he paid for your health. He paid for your wealth. He paid for your for your prosperity. He paid for your children, your grandchildren acting right. He paid for your holiness. He paid for it all. Jesus did it. He says, here you go, it's all yours. Look, 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 look what it's, look, look, go back, go back and look, look, go back and look at that. At the, at the end of that verse, verse 31. Look what it says. If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us, who can be against us? Nobody. Because we've already won. Look what he said, verse 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect if it is God that justifies? God, the word justify, if you don't know, it means declared righteous. It means declared righteous. God declared you righteous. God declared you righteous. God declared you righteous. Nobody can lay any kind of charge against you. Nobody can. Nobody can lay any charge against you. Why is that? Because God justified you. Now the old prophet under the Old Testament, to, and now uh, he uh, uh, not, uh, uh, he was going. He God. <laughs> He recognized that Israel was a blessed nation. He knew that. God blessed them. And there was this old king trying to get this, this prophet to go curse him. But every time the prophet opened up his mouth to go curse him, blessings came out. Think about it. Every time you get ready to go, just teacher person, he said, go tell them that they condemn and they're all going to hell. Okay, I will. Some of you can open up his mouth and say, you, you blessed. You highly favored. You fortunate. All things are possible in you. You can get it done. Is that what the prophet told him to do? <laughs> what did God just say about you? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Look what it says. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at it. Look at verse 34. Look at it. Look at it. It said, it said who is he that condemneth? Can anybody condemn you? It is Christ that died. So where did the condemning go? Oh, Jesus. When Jesus died on the cross, every last bit of condemning, wrath, lie, sin, it's the body of sin. Everything that has, that has to do with sin, it was placed on Jesus. <clears throat> look, what he, look what he said. It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also make up intercession for us. Oh, glory to God. I got Jesus talking to God on my behalf. You got Jesus talking to God on your behalf. That's what the word intercession. Intercession means the, he, he's the go-between. Jesus, just like this podium is God. And I'm Jesus. Teach the purpose I'm Jesus. I'm right here. Every time you mess up, don't worry about it, God. I got them. <laughs> God, I, I, I got it. I, I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing. I got this. Remember, you put, you put it all on me. Remember that? I was still acting crazy. The Lord. Father. 
Remember, I shed my blood for him. Oh, glory to God. Somebody, Jesus sitting there interceding on your behalf. She'll figure it out in a minute, Lord. You know, just, just wait, just wait about six more months. And, and the light bulb is finally gonna click on. Watch. And she's gonna be walking in it. Yeah, you're right, Jesus. I got you, you, you got this, you got this. Oh God. I, I get it, man. He make an intercession for us. Who, verse 35, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? No. Or distress? Look at the verse. Quit looking around, looking at everything all up beside the wall and stuff. Trying to figure out what you're going to eat later on. Who shall, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? No. Or distress? No. Or persecution? Persecution is always somebody bumping their gums about you. Or famine? This word famine, I'm going to just give you the definition of it. It is the Greek word lemos. L is, is pronounced, it's spelled I L I M O S, but the pronunciation is L E E M O S, lemos. It is through the idea of destitution. Destitution. Destitution is another way of saying going without. Or going into lack. Oh, glory to God. Ain't that what we've been believing for around right here? Amen. No lack. Amen. No, 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 no lack. It means dirt, famine, hunger. Have we ever went a day? Some of y'all in here, some of y'all may be out there. Have you ever went a day without food? Unless you chose to go into a fast. Look, look, look. go back and read it again. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall famine or destitution or lack? No. Well, look what it says. Or nakedness. The word nakedness don't get so gross-minded. It ain't talking about just being naked, naked, naked. <laughs> it is the Greek word gumnos. G-U-M-N-O-T-E-S. Gumnos. It is absolutely or comparatively nude or covering, covering, covering. What do I need covering for? Have you ever went without shelter? Some of y'all right now, you living up north right now with five degrees. Some people are going without shelter. But most of you ain't. Some of us right here, we think it's cold because it got to be 63 degrees outside here in Florida. <laughs> you still in covering. God still got your back. He covering you. Look what they said. I said, let me read. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress Distress, y'all know what distress is. Things that just pop up. What's the root word of distress? Stress. Stress, the stresses of life. The Bible, Jesus talks about it, it being the cares of this world. How am I gonna pay this bill? How am I gonna pay that bill? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna get? How am I gonna supply? How am I gonna do this? I need a cigarette. I don't need a cigarette. I got the covering of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory. Look what he said. Nakedness. Or pearl, or pearl, or sword. Pearl. The word pearl here. Just, just get it. It is the word. It's a Greek word. Kandinos. 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 K K I N D U N O S. Kandinos. It is a derivation of danger. Oh my goodness. So any kind of danger, 
keep you from the love of Christ? Any kind of danger? Everybody say, the blood of Jesus Christ protects me from all hurt and harm. If, if Psalms 91 ain't popping up in your brain, something wrong. I know. Psalms 91. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. <clears throat> Comfort it. I had to tell my daughter that the other day. God is the God of all comfort. He'll comfort you. He'll protect you. Why? Because Jesus didn't, God did not spare his own son. His son paid the price. Oh my goodness, people, what are we doing? Oh, here we go. He said, he said, or sword. Sword means weapon. Plain and simple. A gun, a knife, a baseball bat, a nu nu nuclear holocaust. No, I'm covered. I'm protected. God shall protect me. How many of y'all believe this verse? The sound of believing and walk in it. What he literally said, well, well Creflo Dollar, gave, he gave a testimony about him. Uh, been in a major car accident, and he said all, he was driving, <clears throat> and all of a sudden somebody did something, and they tagged him really, really hard. And he said, when he saw the car about to hit, he said, "Well, I guess if I'm about to go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my eyes open. I'm gonna see all of it." I know. <laughs> and, and as soon as the car hit, he went to flying around and upside the car upside down, and he was like, he was like, "Well, I guess this is it." He, he didn't let nothing come out of his mouth. He was like, oh, okay, okay. And when the car finally stopped, he looked over his friend and said, you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> his buddy was with him. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. I mean, even in the midst of danger. <laughs> Glory. Walk away. Look, 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 look. This gets, it gets, it gets even better. It gets even better. Look what it says. As it is written... For thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. <clears throat> we are more than conquerors. Why? Because Jesus paid for it and said, here you go. It's all yours. <laughs> Glory. Man, that's exciting. That's good news that I can walk in. That's, I, I can, I said, oh, man. Father God, I just thank you. It, it, it should prompt you to be in thanksgiving more. Father God, I just thank you for delivering me. Thank you, Father God, for giving me shelter. Thank you, Father God, for giving me a home. Thank you, Father God, for giving me kids and I mean, children. <laughs> and a wife who loved me. Thank you, Father God, for holiness. Uh, even, even your lust, the lust that, that may be inside of you, God has given you holiness to protect other people from you destroying them. Oh, man, that's some good stuff right now. Look, 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 we really get ready. Nay. No, he said, he said, we even though we are killed all the day long, look at what the world trying to do to Christians nowadays. Look what they were trying to do at that time. Paul recognized it. He said, what he say? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. People are constantly trying to kill Christians. Downgrade believers in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. But what did God say? He says, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. It's like we being set up. We have no protection. It seems as if we have no protection. We're not depending on worldly wealth. We're not depending on ADT security to protect our stuff. Right. <laughs> we're not depending on somebody. We, um, you know, we, we come. You see how, what's going on in society today. You're talking about with the gun control. You know, you know, I have a right to bear arms. 
We're not using that as that. I have a right. I need my Colt 45 pistol. I need my 9 minute minute Glock. I need that. No, we depending on Jesus to be our vindicators. To be our sword. What did he say? He said, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. No, sheep, sheep, they walk on through. Yeah, they so. They, 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 they like, they think so. about it. They, they just walk around. <clears throat> you can kick a sheep and the sheep would just bye. <laughs> you can say, come on, sheep. You can tell us, sheep, come on. I'm going to take you right over here to the chopping block and we're going to cut your head off. I got a vision of that this morning. And it kept me up for a couple of hours, too. <clears throat> Think about it. Jesus came. When he came to the earth, he came as a lamb, baby innocent lamb, to be slaughtered. And he knew it. Think about carrying that burden your whole life. You know when you're going to die, you know how you're going to die. And he just walked right on up, walked right on up. And think about a lamb. You see a lamb. You walk up, and all of a sudden, you put that lamb's head on a chopping block, and you just take an axe, pop, and chop the lamb's head off. I know it's very, very sound kind of descriptive, but that's the way Jesus was. He just walked on up, and he said, I'll gladly pay the price for them, and died. Count of sheep. He said, verse 37, nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him. More than conquerors through him. Come on, let the finger and close this out. He says, For I, verse 38, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Think about it. The future. Amen. Nor height, Amen. nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Even if you have in moments of fear, you don't have to fear. Look what he said right now. Nor the, the last half of the verse, verse 38. Nor thing, the things that's present, nor the things to come. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid. Did not God not spare, did I say that right? Did God not spare his own son? Did Jesus pay the price? God is saying in these verses, Receive. 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 It's yours. Too many other verses, the Bible tells us that the Bible says it says that Jesus, that God is, He wants us to have the kingdom. Too many other verses, like in the book of Luke. When the, when the Sadducees and Pharisees heard Jesus preaching about authority, and then the, the people heard all that stuff, and they're like, hey, Jesus, he preaching as if people have authority, not like the religious folk do. Mm -hmm. Think about what religion would do to you. Religion would say, oh, no, you are no good for nothing, sinner. Oh, there's no none righteous, no none but Christ, no none but God. Non righteous. And here, we read right here, what was one of the, what's one of the four major things that God did with you? He predestinated you. He called you. And then what did he do? He justified you. And then he did what? Glorified you. So how is that no none but no none but God who is righteous? That's Old Testament stuff. What nobody righteous under the Old Testament? I tell you, tell you not, wasn't nobody righteous at all. Nobody was righteous at all until Jesus died and rose from the dead, and then he declared everybody righteous. <laughs> Sinners right now, the people who have not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord, they've been declared righteous, and they don't even know it. Why? Because there ain't nobody telling them. Ain't nobody telling them. 
Oh no, how many of y'all heard, heard this stuff before? Before you start going to church, you got to clean your act up oh, first. Yeah, I'm telling you, no, yeah. that's wrong Dang. religious minded thinking. Well, I got to stop being a bisexual before I can start going to church. I'm telling you, no, get them in here and then God will deliver you. Oh, you got to stop being a homosexual. You got to stop doing those things first before you come. No, I'm telling you, come. Come. Come and sit, come and receive. The price has been paid. Come and receive. Come, 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 come. North, south, east, and west to come and learn how to follow Jesus Christ. You don't know how. You got to come, come and learn how to follow Jesus Christ the right way. You don't know how. Come. I'm compelling you to come, man. Come, come and learn. God loves you. He has delivered you. Think of it again. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Nobody and nothing. God has loved you with a love that you know not of yet. And it's freely yours. It's yours. You can walk in it. <laughs> Come on, people. It's yours. God has delivered you already. You just need to walk in it. You just need to come learn how to do it. Amen. You just need to come. Just come. <laughs> we call them now from the north, south, east, and west. Come and learn. North, south, east, and west. North, south, east, and west. Just see the people coming, y'all. See the people coming. See the people coming. See the people coming. See the people coming. I see them coming in the masses in my head. I see them. I see them in my heart. And they thirsty and they hungry. And it's time for us to learn how to feed them. Because they gonna be need, they need to be fed. They don't know. Let me read it again, read it again, because we're right here at the end. We're right here at the end. We're right here at the end. <laughs> well, what, what Paul say, verse 38 again, for I am persuaded that neither death nor life. Notice, why would he say nor life? He's talking about the, this life in this world. Nor life, nor angels. No principalities. If you don't know what principalities are, principalities are, 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 are administrations that have been set up. The rules and bondages that's been set up in different governments. That's what if you just because if you don't know, like the IRS, it is a it is a principality. The IRS, if, if you, I mean, it's right so we are supposed to pay taxes. But we supposed to be paying uh, at least um, some of these. They asking for more than what God asked for. Our God only asked for ten percent, and they asking far more. They some of them asked for twenty two to two two percent, twenty three percent tax, twenty three percent tax, twenty three, twenty three. I mean, if I want to give twenty three percent, I'm gonna give twenty three percent to the kingdom, not to the government. Greed has become a principality. Flat out greed. Principalities, no powers. Powers are the governments themselves. Now I'm not saying all government is evil. That's not what I'm saying here. Don't know they go down that road. Because the Bible tells us in other in other scriptures that the governments are that's God's administration. God wants those things there. But when you got evil hearted people who ain't learning how to follow Jesus Christ and greed is eating away at them and they just hungry, greed, 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 trying to figure out, give me more, give me more, give me more. <laughs> what, did, what did the old song he said? Give me what you got for a pork chop. Y'all remember that song? Some of y'all probably know the song. Remember that old song right there? He said, no powers, no things present, no things to come, no height, no depth. Nor any, no, I mean, nor, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is where? In. Where is his love at? In Christ. In Christ. That's why I started on the front end. It's up to us to go tell folk about Jesus.
things how you tell people. How? We said it already. Your words and your actions. Your words and your actions. That's why we spent so much time on finding out who we are in Christ Jesus. To start developing this boldness. I'm a born again believer. I'm baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit. What did you just say? I don't know. It's a mystery. But I believe I'm going to receive it. <laughs> Glory to God. It, the words came directly from God. How do you know that? The book of Acts told me that. How do the book of Acts? Yeah, the, Corinth, the book of Corinthians told me that too. When I speak in the unknown tongue, I'm speaking directly to God. There are words given directly from heaven, directly from God himself. And I believe I'm living by those words. Man, I live holy. Why? Because holiness is in me. I can live holy because holiness is in me. I can live right because righteousness is in me. Glory to God, man. That's who I am in all circumstances. I am righteous. Why? Because Jesus paid the price. That's some good stuff right there, man. No height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me Separate us from the love of God shall separate, shall separate, shall separate us, shall separate us. You, you need to uh, interchange that word us right there and just put me there. Man, make it personal. Amen. Shall separate me Amen. from the love of Christ, from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, my Lord. My Lord. He's my Lord. Jesus is my Lord. Oh man, oh, woo! Oh, oh, walk, walking on Memphis, walking in Memphis. You know that song, walking in Memphis. You now you first step out of Memphis. Well, got your feet. Got, I'm ten feet right off of Bill Street, man. I've been walking, chilling, walking in Memphis. <laughs> I'm walking the holiness, walking on holiness. <laughs> Walking with my feet, my feet right in Christ. <laughs> I'm praying my own word right there. Walking walk with my feet in Christ. I'm walking in Christ. I'm like Enoch now. I'm walking in Christ. G Enoch is in glory. Just walk. He walked right on in the glory. <laughs> glory to God, man. Glory to God. Oh, I'm, I don't know about y'all, but I'm drunk. <laughs> and I'm talking about drunk on this word. I'm Shoot, man! Oh, good goodness gracious! What y'all want to do? Y'all don't y'all sense that in this room? I know I do. All this, 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 this good. Jesus paid the price, man. Everybody, lift your hands up to the Father. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Thank you, Father God. Oh, glory to your name, Lord. Thank you, Father God. You're so good to us, oh Lord. Thank you. I don't mind surrendering myself unto you. You know, when you lift your hands up to the Father, you're basically just mm -hmm. surrendering yourself. You're surrendering you. It's, 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 it's being mm -hmm. prostrated before the Father. <clears throat> don't ever feel as if that you so <clears throat> prideful and stubborn. Well, I'm not going to do that. You need to do that. Lift your hands up and just say, thank you, Father. You're so good. Because you're humbling yourself. You're humbling yourself. Thank you, Father God, for being who you are. You love me well, with a love I did not understand. But I'm starting to get it, Lord. I'm starting to get it. Oh, glory to God. I'm starting to get this love. I'm starting to get it. It's so good, man. This love. Christ has loved us with a love that's unsearchable. He loved us. And I gotta stop and I'm, I'm out of time now. That's good, man. That is so good. So hey, remember, remember, receive. And if you wanna if you wanna put a, put this theme on this whole year, man, receive in 18. Receive in 18. Receive it. 
Jesus has already paid the price. He loves you. Receive it. Glory to God. We'll be back, you guys. We'll be back.